Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. I am Christian Di Arellano, and I will be reporting Benefits from the Arts by Elliot Wayne Isner. Elliot Wayne Isner was a professor of art and education at the Stanford Graduate School of Education and was one of the United States' leading academic minds. He was active in several fields, including arts education, curriculum reform, qualitative research, and was the recipient of a University of Louisville Grow Mayor Award in 2005 for his work in education. So, Professor Elliot Wayne Isner is a great contributor in the fields of arts and education. The term artistic literacy is the knowledge and understanding required to participate authentically in arts. And the term creativity is a process of having original ideas that have value. The limits of language are not the limits of cognition. We know more than we can tell. In common terms, literacy refers essentially to the ability to read and to write, but it can be reconceptualized as the creation and the use of a form of representation that enable one to create meaning meaning that will not take the impress of language in its conventional form. Literacy is associated with high level of cognition. For example, in painting, when you observe a painting, you can provide a lot of interpretations. You can give lots of perspectives because a painting has a broad meaning that cannot be described through words. In short, in each form of arts has a wider and broader interpretations that we cannot describe in words. Somatic experience. Somatic means bodily. It's one of the most important indicators that someone has gotten it right. Related to the multiple ways in which we represent the world through our multiple forms of literacy is the way in which we come to know the world through the entailments of our body. Sometimes, one knows the process or an event through one's skin. The best exp example for this is the experiences, even our personal experiences. We could draw to the conclusion of any event that we already experience. Open-ended tasks permit the exercise of imagination. An exercise of the imagination is one of the most important of human aptitudes. It is imagination, not necessity. That is the mother of invention. Imagination is the source of new possibilities. In arts, imagination is a primary virtue. Example of this is drawing a poster making. Poster making is one of the most broadest meaning in terms of arts. You cannot start to draw a poster making without imagining the end product of your work. It is the same with the begin with the end in mind. Before you start, you know already the outcome or the end product of your invention or any arts that you are going to make. And that would be all. Thank you for listening.